Galloway's support through sight loss. Hi everyone, this is James, the Get Active Coordinator at Galloway's. Um, what I want to do today is just to give you some ideas on how you can keep mobile, um, be a bit more flexible and a little bit of exercise that you can do in your own home uh, with hardly any equipment or no equipment at all. So today I just want to show you some of the exercises that hopefully I'll be able to release in a video uh, later on in the, in the coming weeks. Um, so first of all I'm going to show you some basic exercises to, to just get you up and about regardless of your age, um, your abilities and things like that. Just some general things. So the first one I'm going to do is going to be the sit to stand and for that you'll need um, a solid chair, something that's, that's firm and solid. Uh, I'll show you that. Then we're going to do some, um, some arm raises and then finally we're going to do like ankle rotation and things like that just to, to try and keep you a little bit mobile and flexible and just to help with your joints and things like that and then the second part I'll show you some of the exercises that we're going to do so for now watch the video and we'll show you those mobility and, and flex, flexible options that you can do for you um, to, to keep keep active while you're at home in this isolation that everybody's going through. Okay, so just to describe the first um, of the, the mobility exercises for you, it's a sit to stand, and we can do that a few times. So what you need is a, a good solid chair, um, like a tiny room chair that I've got now. What you need to do is sit close to the edge, um, Put your feet around about hip distance apart and then all you're going to do is just stand up. Stay up for one or two seconds, slowly lower yourself back down and keep doing that. And while you're doing that, if, you, if you're just pulling your stomach muscles, that will help. So it just it's just a way of, of getting yourself mobile and everything. So you just keep doing that and then if you're struggling to do it without using your hands to help, what you can do is you can either put your hands on the chair to help. So you can place your hands on the side of the chair just to help you push up. If you're not that able, or you can put your hands on your, your thighs and just put up, push up. So that's just one way of doing a sit to stand. Just gets you warmed up a little bit, gets you used to being um, up and about, especially if you're not that mobile anyway and you want things to do, you just want to get a bit more active. It just helps you, you build up a little bit of strength and, and everything that way. So that is the sit to stand. The next one that I said was what we call arm raises. So what you want to do is stand with your feet planted, round about shoulder width apart, um, pulling your stomach muscles and then all you're going to do is with your hands at the side you're just going to raise your hands up to shoulder distance keep them there for a second or two bring them out in front of you and then lower down so it's just working your, your shoulder joints and just just keeping you a little bit bit more more bar and flexibility so it's from from standing still stomach muscles in raise your hands up leave them there for a bit and bring them forward and then just lower them back to your side so it's up forward and down to your sides if that's too easy for you what you can do is you can try putting a, a tin of baked beans or something like that in, in each hand and just do it again with a little bit of a weight just so you you've got an idea and just do as many as you can of those okay so we've done the sit to stand that's the first one We've done the arm raises and we'll go on to the next one. So this next one uh, is called ankle rotation and it's just to give you a bit of flexibility in your ankles and your feet. Uh, it does take quite a bit of balance. Now what you need to do for this one, if you've not got a lot of balance, you can take your chair, you just gently hold onto your chair, stand on one leg, and slightly raise your other leg, 
so it's just off the ground and in front of you and then all you're doing is rotating your ankle as though you're drawing zeros with your with your feet so just do that for 10 times one way and then do 10 times the other way or as much as you can do once you've done that just swap feet do the same thing again um, so like I say if your balance isn't good just make sure you've got something to hold on it just gives you a bit of flexibility in your ankles um, if you're okay without that you stand on one foot you just take a bit of balance in and then you just rotate it once you've done that change feet and just keep rotating your ankles so that just gets you warmed up a little bit onto to when we come on to some of the exercises and another mobility exercise you can do just to keep you you warmed up um, if you've got a step either you've got some stairs or you've got a step a back step front step anywhere that's slightly raised up you can just do step ups so it's just one foot on then your next one and down so you just keep doing steps and that just gives you some exercise you can go as fast as you want or as slow as you want and then you can change it around you can use the other leg depending on which leg you feel easiest so just using a simple step setup uh, it can be done on your stairs it can be done on your back step or anywhere that's got a raised platform if you've not got that you may be able to do it um, with a block of wood or something but whatever base you use make sure it's a, it's a firm steady base so again stand up one two and then down up with one foot bring your other one up drop your first one and then keep going down so it's just do that as many times as you want so that uh, that's your sort of warm-up and uh, flexibility just get you going a little bit on those so we'll work we'll work forward now and we'll go on to the exercises themselves <clears throat> right so one of the exercises you can do uh, body weight squats so you want to be feet shoulder width apart firmly planted loose at your knees Bring in your stomach muscles and all you're going to do is bring your arms up, go down and push up. So as you're lowering yourself down, you're using your thigh muscles. When you push up, just squeeze with your bum cheeks as well. Just gets a, a bit of a workout going. So it's just down and up. Down and up. Doesn't matter how low you can go if you can't get all the way down. Just do whatever you can, whatever feels comfortable for yourself, just to get going. And you find after a while you'll feel that on your thighs and in your, your bum. So that's that one. And how you can make that harder is if you went down and then back up. So if you go down, hold it for the count of two or three and then push back up. So it's down, one, two, three and then back up. That just makes it a little bit harder. If that's too much for you, all you need to do is just go down a little bit and then back up. Down a little bit and back up. Okay, so that's your body weight squat. That's a relatively easy one. You can do anywhere. It doesn't need any equipment. Now, a lot of you have probably heard about push-ups and things like that. There's a few ways you can do them. If you've not done push-ups before, you're not used to them, one thing you can do is you can use a wall, so if you've got a wall in front of you, you can put your hands against the wall, lean forward, just lower yourself down to the wall, um, give you an idea here, so you've got your hands on the wall, feet away from it, and then you just push towards the wall and push back. So that's doing a, a wall push up. Um, if that's too easy for you, you can go down to the floor and start off when you're kneeling, just go down into a normal push-up position, keep your, keep your knees on the floor, 
and just push up. Go as low as you can and do whatever you can. So you can do a push up that way. If that's too easy, normal push up, up onto your toes and then push up. So that just gives you different ways of doing it. And another variation on that that you can do is if you go to the kneeling one, you do your push up and then you do a shoulder tap. So it's push up, shoulder tap, push up, shoulder tap. And you can keep doing that and that will work out all your chest and your arms and everything. Always keep your core muscles, your stomach muscles pulled in tight. So that is a push up. Another one you can do for your stomach muscles is the plank. A lot of people hate the plank. But what you do is you get on the floor and there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can make it easy or hard for yourself. If you want to start off easy, do it from your knees. Put your arms down, your elbows down on the floor, your hands out in front of you, and just curl your, pull your stomach muscles in, and just stay like that for a while, keeping your muscles stay tucked in, and you'll feel that. If you want to make it harder and do it properly, you lie on the floor, put your arms underneath your shoulders, your elbows underneath your shoulders, Hands out straight, palms flat on the floor. Go up onto your, onto your toes, legs straight, bum straight, and pull in your tummy to muscles, and just stay like that for as long as you can. So that is a plank. It does take a lot of getting used to that one, but it really works your, your stomach muscles. Now this last exercise is the what we call the wall sit. So what you want to do is lean against a wall or a closed door. Put your feet around about a foot 18 inches away from the, the bottom of the wall. Keep them planted about hip width apart. Then slowly you're going to slide down the wall until your knees are at about a right angle. So your legs are parallel to the floor. And you're just going to sit there, you can rest your, fold your arms, you can rest your hands on your knees. You'll really feel that in your thighs. And you just sit there for as long as you can and then slide up. If you can't get all the way down, just go as low as you feel comfortable. The lower you go, the more you feel it on your thighs. So it's like, go down, get as low as you can, stay there for as long as you can. Try and aim for around about 15, 15 seconds to start off with and then from there you can build it up as you, you feel. So that's the exercises that we will be doing. We'll put them together in a routine and hopefully I'll get that video done, put it together and we'll show you that next week as a full routine. So just for now, that's just an idea on some of the ex exercises and mobility that you can do at home to keep you active get your heart rate moving a bit and get some activity while you're in the old home. So with that in mind, please stay safe, look after yourselves, practice yourself the social distancing and heed all the government guidelines and hopefully we'll all get through this together and come out safe and sound at the other end. Talk to you soon.